Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for clicking on to another DOY Creation 7 video. Happy Friday to everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in to this video because I have some goodies that I would like to share with you all. Before I get started, you know I always like to give glory, honor, and praise to the Most High Yah. It looks like it's going to rain today. I am facing the window, hoping this natural light come shining on through and help me with my lighting and everything like that. So I already know you guys are checking her out back here. I'll get to her in a second, but I wanted just to take a second out. Let me scoot up a little bit. Um, I wanted to take a second out to just to say thank you guys for supporting this channel right here um, and supporting me all together. I appreciate it so 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 very much um i want to give a something happened to me something happened on yesterday okay i'm watching supporting everyone who i'm subscribed to who supports me and all that good stuff on the yt i know i should be looking up here but sometimes i look down here so i'm watching everyone that's supporting me on the yt so uh mimi loves yarn I'm going to leave her link down below because she did something kind of um, special and unique yesterday. She did a unboxing DOY Creation 7. And I just thought that was just so, so awesome. I'm like, unboxing DOY Creation 7? So anyway, um, you guys know that I did a jewelry sale. I still have quite a few. A uh, bit of those pieces left. I'll try to I will I'll leave the link in my description bar below uh, So you can see what jewelry that I had or still have on sale for you all and Mimi uh, Loves yarn she purchased two of uh, the jewelry so she did de uh, decided to do a unboxing on her channel you know, open up the jewelry that she purchased for me. And I just thought that was just so, so awesome. I was exciting to look at it because, you know, we all enjoy the whole unboxing type of situation. So I'm like, unboxing DOY creation? What, what, what you got? What you got there? I totally forgot. Not that I forgot, but it was just special how she uh, named it. So anyway, I'm going to leave her video down below so you guys can see the unboxing and see the um the necklace that she purchased from me and if you check out the video that uh, i'm having for the jury sale you'll know that those two items i believe that was item number five or number six has already been sold but i was just so excited to see the video i was just i was feeling some kind of way and then I'm reading the comments and someone left in the comments, I believe it was Seta, left in the comments, you know, that she appreciate me as well and, you know, and how she signed up for Nick Crate with me and all that different stuff. And you guys, it, it's so touching. It's so, it's so, it's so, I don't know. It's just, it feels so good. It just really feels so good when you're doing something and people appreciate the love, the effort, the work that you put into everything that you do. It's, it's like if you cooking a, a good meal and your family just be like thumbs up and just telling you how delicious it is. Um, I was watching De uh, DeAndra Walker video. She was making, a, um, was, it a, was it a tuna and chicken casserole? I could have just came through that screen to get some of that casserole because that casserole... The looked at so 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 delicious so but you know how somebody just really really appreciate what you do and how you do it and they know that you come in from a good place a genuine place and all that stuff so I just want to say thank you to everyone who just leave those type of comments uh, who post things on their Facebook page Instagram page or tutorials that I share with them or whatever I do here on this channel here and you guys is showing so much appreciation it just it just really inspires me to keep it going you know when you feel like 
you're burnt out, when you feel like, you know, I'm going to take a long break or go on a hyenas and all that stuff. And you get those type of videos or you get those type of comments to just help you keep, you know, help you keep doing what you do and doing what you love. So, uh, again, Mimi, I appreciate you so, so very much. I appreciate everyone who tunes into this. I appreciate your comments. I appreciate your viewing. I appreciate your sharing. Um, I just appreciate you all so, so very much. I really, really do. I'm calling her out specifically today because she did a video on yesterday of an unboxing. And I was like, girl, do I need to sign a box subscription? I don't know. You just never know. I'm sorry, y'all. Something in my eye. You just never know when you're doing things that you enjoy and you really love to do you don't know how it's going to manifest you don't know how it's going to go but keep doing what you do you know um if some of you guys are inspiration with your with your diet with your cooking with your crafting with your whatever that you do keep doing with your dollar trees whatever it is that you do keep doing what you're doing because you just don't never know how it can manifest to something even greater than you ever expected so i just wanted to say that so i'll leave her link in the description box below i will leave the link to um that video that i had the jury that's going fast but um i'll leave that and then you could just email me and see if i still have any of those pieces available they they run it really cheap guys so it's something that you might not want to miss and also um sign up for Nick Crate. Everyone who has signed up for Nick Crate, I did ship out your bonus yarn, but there's going to be another bonus, guys. So what I'm going to do is I have, so all the yarn that I was giving away, is that portion is gone. So my July box, my July box, let me just recap that July box. Hold on one second. Let me go grab that. And I am back. So, the July box looks like this. Here's the July box. Okay. Some of you guys' um, colors look different. I don't really know if that's true or not uh, because I don't, I'm just using natural light. But anyway. So if you are deciding to sign up for Knit Crate using my coupon code, this will be a bonus scheme in your bag with additional the Give Me Sunshine review and good yarn with this cozy. And then the next person who sign up will get this right here. So I got two more skeins of yarn if you are interested in getting the bonus yarn, okay? All you would need to do is sign up with Knit Crate using my coupon code. Once they show me that it's been someone signed up, you leave that in the uh, comments below. I signed up with you. Send me over my bonus yarn and I will get that shipped out to you ASAP, okay? So... I'll leave all the Knit Crate information because I can always go get me some extra yarn. Um, I just want to give just a small incentive incentive uh, if you go under using my, my coupon code. So, yeah, that's just a bonus, a small incentive because this will show a little gratitude and appreciation for you all, you know, signing up with Knit Crate. So I just wanted to get those things out of the out of the way. Now, before I go into details about this, uh, this is a beach cover up. But before I go into details about that, let me show you my whip. So this is what I have on whip. This top right here. So this top right here. Remember, it was just this bralette or. It was just this top part right here. I decided to add the bottom part to here. Okay. So that's all I'm doing with this one here. And then I'm going to do a, once I get it 
all the way to the length that I would like it to be. And then I'm going to put a shell stitch around here. I'm going to do a, I'm going to do a shell, either a shell stitch or a ruffle stitch around the trimming. So it's going to be shell or ruffles all the way around. So yeah. So this is what I have on whip. I'm really liking how this one looks right here. Um, I keep getting requests for beach cover-up. So these are going to be my last, I don't know necessarily my last two pieces of me doing beach cover-up. But everyone that's asking me doing beach cover-up, you need to go ahead and purchase it so that I can, you know, make others. And I want to do tutorials on different things, but I'm, I'm constantly collecting inventory and yeah, I need to, I need to move stuff. It's so inspiring when you make something, then you sell it and then someone leave it in a comment. Can you show me how to make it? It's easier to do the tutorial that way than keep making things. And now it's just, you know, it's part of your inventory. I don't have a problem with that, but I just want to make sure that I'm moving stuff at the same time. So, yeah. So, I'm just going to use up the rest of this white yarn. I might do the trimming in a different color just to uh, break up all the white. So, I'm going to go to Walmart because I don't think I have enough yarn to go around the trimming that I would like it to go. So, I'm going to go to Walmart and see what pretty color. Maybe I do a blue and white or a red and white one of those variegated types of uh peaches and cream i might even do a yellow and white you know anything to inspire someone to be like i really like that go ahead let me get that off your hand so that is what i have on whip this is the only thing that i have on whip i know usually i have like maybe like two to three items on whip but I'm just working on this one right now. Okay, this piece right here is really, really long. This is a mash stitch. I showed you guys how to do the mash stitch. So this is just a mash stitch. That's all it is. But it's really, really, really long. So, hold on. So there it is. Let's see. It hits the floor. Let's see if I can bring it even closer. Maybe I need to bring it back. All right. Maybe I need to bring my computer closer. Hold on, guys. I want to. I want you guys to see how long it is. So let's go down like that. Is that better? So it hits all the way to the floor. And on the floor, I have the Pico stitch. I trimmed it in the Pico stitch. I know you can't hear me too well because I'm a, totally away from the camera. But I ended with the Pico stitch. But you can see it hits the floor. Okay, it's really, really long. Now, this is really long only because she's really tall. So this, was, this is a really a one size fits most. It, it can fit all almost. This is tied up around the neck area. And as you can see, the drawstring is really long. So if you're a plus size and you need that beach cover up, this is the piece for you. So it's one of those pieces that it's, it's beautiful. It is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, and she's a, she is a tall one. Yep. Y'all see that? I know. Yeah. So, I use the Mandela yarn. And I only have a little bit left. Okay, let me show you what I got left. I have this much. I have this much left from making this right here. And I just stopped. I wanted to use the whole skein of yarn, but it would just get longer and longer and longer. So I was like, there's no reason for me to make it that any longer than it has to be. 
So I'll figure out something that I can make using the purple. It's just the purple. This is a kind of like a, um, it's a purple. It's in the purple family. I don't know exactly which purple, but that's purple. So if you plus size or even if you're a, a slimmer person, this is one size fits most. I have to uh, add this into my Etsy website. Um, just got to, you know, sew in the loose ends or whatever like that. But this is absolutely gorgeous. This is so perfect for right now. You guys know I always have her on with her black dress. You know, this is a cover-up for a dress. It doesn't have to be a beach cover-up. It could just be a cover-up. And this yarn is really, really thin. So it's not like it'll be like, if it be too hot or anything like that on you, it would not be hot on you. Let me, hold on guys. Anyway, it would not be too hot on you. It'll be very, very nice and light. That looks good with that black dress right there. Imagine having on a white dress or a light color dress or even having the black dress on just like she has it. So it's a beach cover up. It's a dress cover up. It's a, you know, it's just a great piece to have. Let me know in the comments what you think about this dress right here. Guys, it is so hot. I have my window cracked and I need to pull it all the way up. I want to show you guys something that I know for a fact that you're going to love. So I did this little DIY. So what I'm doing right now is I want to be more creative when I'm doing events. So, and I'm even thinking about doing an event at my home, but the event is not for crochet. It's basically just for jewelry because I have quite a bit of jewelry that I've been just making and making and making. And so I normally, let me show you what I put my jewelry on. Here's my, here's my stand that I put my jewelry on. And I like it because it turns, okay? So there's my jewelry. These are the only pair I did not make. So let's take that off. So here's my jewelry. Okay? So I make all this jewelry right here, right? I told you I do not just make everything big. Sometimes I make small jewelry. So that is the stand that I use to put my jewelry on. But I got a lot of long pieces. So I was thinking, I was into the Dollar Tree on yesterday and my creative juice was just, it was flowing, okay? So let me show you guys this quick and easy DIY that I did with this Dollar Tree items to hang your jewelry. Okay, you ready? Okay, all right. So, here it is. Here's my DIY. I bought these little, let me show you exactly what I did. I'm, I'm gonna show you the pack, just in case you're interested in doing this. I bought these packs right here. These are the self-adhesive hooks crochet auto auto hen something so here they are right here or well, here's a better one here's a better one so these little small little hooks you can hang your keys on them or whatever little small item that you want to hang on these hooks and here is uh, you can put a picture in here so I decided to use those hooks to hang up my long jewelry. What I like about this is it has this part right here so it stands on my table really nice and easy. So here it is. So I can display my longer jewelry on my table like this. 
Now I do have more of these. And I could have what I want what I thought about it after I start sticking these on. I needed to have it all the way at the top. So put them all. I gave it some space and there was no need for me to put no space. When I realized that I was all the way over here. So, but I have plenty more of these right here. You can pick them up from your Dollar Tree. This one is the 8 by 10 So here it is. And this is just another way that I can sit my jewelry on my table. And you could be able to see it and view it a whole lot better. Okay. So I can have this one here, which I feel like this is designed for my smaller jewelry. And I can have this one for my smaller piece and have these for my larger earrings like this. Okay, my larger earrings like this. So I really love that I came up with that. You know what I mean? I really love, I might even do a, let me know in the comments below if you would like me to do a DIY and how I made that case i might just do a diy on how i made this thing right here which is really really simple but you know sometimes people like to see um you do it yourself so i just really enjoy that it's quick it's easy and then it's going to make my jewelry because i think i'm going to do just you know family and friends over to my house and i'm just going to have a jewelry sale uh, jewelry sale but if you guys are interested in anything that you see let me know but I'll leave that I do have some of these earrings available on my website um, so check out and see if it's anything that you like on the website or you can always contact me by email and then I can send you over a secured PayPal invoice and I can get that shipped out to you I got one of those, the 8x10, and then I also have a longer one. So I got to go through my, because um, when I did my fashion show, I used these right here to show my prices on um, some items. You know what I mean? So, but this just popped in my head. So I bought another one of these. But after I got it home, I said, hmm, I already have some of these. So more is better in any way. So I got some more jewelry that I'm working on and I want to have that separately so you I can have one just with crochet one that I'm using something else you know I just I could display it a whole lot better so if you're interested it'll be easy for me to get to and sell a whole lot better yeah so if you're interested in me doing a DIY and how I make my uh, earring case Make sure you leave that in the comments below and we can do that together, okay? We can do that together. And another thing is I did pick up all items from the Dollar Tree. So you don't have to go and order anything online. It's available right here at the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree is really good with having, you know, some DIY things that you could just create and be creative. You know, a, a thing that I made a while ago. I showed you guys a lot of you guys are new to this channel and welcome welcome to all of my new subscribers you guys are so so appreciated I did a DIY this mirror I did a D I'm not gonna point it but this mirror right here I did the circular I got this board right here from uh, Walmart for 25 cents and I was like what am I gonna do with this I don't know it was it was 25 cents and I just purchased it so when I got it I was like I don't know what I want to do with it so what I did was I just added a mirror one of the Dollar Tree mirrors and then I got some Dollar Tree gems and just outline it and I have it sitting over on one of my uh, stands over there but last night I was working pretty late I took this down and I start adding my earrings on top you know I was adding some you know some jewelry on top and I really liked how that looked. if you are not following me on Facebook or Instagram please make sure you follow me on Instagram and Facebook um, because I post 
a whole lot quicker there before I even do videos. And you can guys can see how I laid all of this new jewelry uh, on on this display right here. This make a awesome, awesome display. They had some bigger than this. I I wish I would have got the one that was bigger than this one right here because they was 25 cents a quarter. And this has a very nice weight. It's not no flimsy type of board. You can see the thickness of it. It's really, really nice. So I just been um, laying out my jewelry and putting it on there. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and on Facebook. I think I'm almost at 1K on um I'm almost at 1k on Instagram so go on over there and if you like I can't tell you what to do but if you like if you have an Instagram let's follow each other on that page as well why not that's my saying why not and you'll see all this new jewelry Some new pieces that I created and made on that on that site there I'll leave that in the description bar below so yeah I'm going to come back I got another um, I got another tutorial that's coming up I'm trying to clear some space out of my phone so that I can use my phone see my phone only gives me it don't go past 10 minutes on my on my cell phone so I'm trying to do a uh, tutorial so that I can face my phone correctly but I got 10 minutes to do that so I'm gonna see if I can do this house to top in 10 minutes so I can just be facing it so you guys can see it better um, like I say until I'm able to purchase a nice phone not a phone but a camera so I can position everything, you know, the way that that's better. That I I know for myself too, it's better. So yeah, I'm going to come back and I'm going to do that. Again, you guys, if you are interested in the Knit Crate, signing up for Knit Crate unboxing, please make sure that, oh, my thing just changed colors. Please make sure that you are signing up using my coupon code. I'll leave that in the description bar below. I'll leave my email address in the description box. So once you do it, um, you emailing me where I need to send the extra skeins of yarn to you, which I love it so so much. It's it's pretty awesome. I even I even covered the shipping costs. That's how cool it is. That's how much I want you guys to really enjoy the knit crate. It's 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 fun to unbox. It's really really a fun thing to do. So. I want you guys to take advantage of that. I'm trying to make sure that I covered everything because it's Friday. Um, am I going live on Sunday? Probably so, guys. I, I'm going to say, I'm trying to see, do I, do I really want to commit myself? Stay tuned. Be looking out and see if I go live Sunday. I know I got some things that I need to take care of. So I'm not for sure if I'm going to do it in the morning time or try for the evening time to do the live. I, I'll go live, but I'm just not for sure of uh, what time I'll be going uh, live. So just be looking out for your, I don't know what type of notification that you get, but be checking it out to make sure your girl go live so you guys can crochet along with me and we have fun on our lives we get to network we get to you know support one another you know uh, everybody be speaking and uh, uh, signing up or subscribing to other channel and I have a subject that I would like to talk about on Sunday so please stay tuned whether I go live in the morning time or if you do the replay of the live video that is cool as well because I think it's a subject that um, needs to be talked about I think so so anyway I'm thinking that is it I did that I showed you that I'm only I only got that one thing on whip I'm I'm not putting anything else on whip right now because I don't need to I just 
I don't need to right now. I do want to finish this off so I can come back and show this with you all. Maybe I'll be done before Sunday or maybe we're going to work on this together on Sunday. This halter dress or halter. I don't know what I'm going to name it yet. But like I said, if you are interested in this one here, this is a one size fits most. This is yarn. It stretch. It gives. Okay. So you do not have to worry about Oh, she's so fatigued that I won't be able to fit this piece. It stretches. It stretches as far as you need it to stretch. You know, so let me know if you're interested in that. You'll leave that in the comments for pricing and all that stuff. And we'll talk, um, you know, via email. So, yeah, let me know. All right, guys, that is all that I wanted to stop in to share with you all today again Thank you, thank you, thank you for taking the time out to click on DOY Creation 7 video. I appreciate my supporters so, so very much. I hope you guys have a wonderful and safe weekend. And until Sunday, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate that. And share. You can share it. I don't mind. Yep, I don't mind. So anyway, guys, until next video, always remember Yasam 684 in your King James Version. Always keep your life and your health in check. And I'll be checking you guys in the next video really, really soon. Go over to DOY East 2 and show me some support over there as well if you want to. All right. Bye for now.